What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I am here with Kyle McCarley. Hi. We are in near automata or is it automata? Yeah, good question. Yeah. I say automata. But I feel but like a lot of people say automata. Automata or automata. Automata. That yeah. game. We're in that <laughs> game together. We are. I thought we'd have a little chat and talk about how we got the role. Okay. So, how'd you get the role of 9S? <laughs> <laughs> Um, so, uh, we, we, we auditioned for the project at Cup of Tea yeah. Productions. Lovely studio. Yes. Lovely people. Those people are sweethearts. I love I them. I love them. So much. And Ziggy, the studio dog, yes. is adorable. Absolutely adorable. It's like a little French bulldog I've, squish face. I've had sessions there where whoever's directing will, will be on the talk back, talking to me, giving direction, and there's some noise that I cannot decipher that's coming through and I just go, what is that? No, it's just Ziggy snoring, don't worry about it. <laughs> I love a French bulldog snore. But yeah, so I, I read for I read for 9S and one other character and I cannot remember for the life of me who it was. Huh. Uh, there aren't that many male characters in Nier, so there's not a, a huge list to choose from, but at any rate, ended up playing the role of 9S nice. and I loved it. There's a sword oh, on the wall, one of my fans mailed that. Are you serious? Somebody yeah. <laughs> mailed you a sword? Wait, can we take it off the wall and look? This is a uh, cruel blood oath replica. And it matches my shoes. It does! <laughs> I always match my shoes to my sword. Yeah. It's a style tip for all you guys. <laughs> Very important. <laughs> so do you get a lot of fan gifts? Not like this. Right, this is, this, <laughs> this is, is pretty This is pretty special. Yeah. Do you get stuff from? I've been getting a lot more fan gifts lately. Actually, shout out to Matt Chandler. He gave me a Morgana blanket. Ooh. That he like custom ordered and like made and stuff and he has one too. So we have matching blankets and I seriously, I've been sleeping with it every night. I love it. <laughs> That's cool. Because it's like fleece on one side and it's like a picture of Morgana on the other nice. side. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. Soft and comfy. Yeah. Like cats are. Yeah. Like your cat. Can we show them your cat? Yeah. Simon. My cats are awesome, but this cat is pretty awesome. Come here, Simon. Look at Simon. I'm probably wearing some of his fur right now because as soon yeah. as I came into Kyle's house, I, well, I picked too. up his cat. So, uh, I'm assuming the story for Operator 6-0 is Audition, similar. get the part, kind yeah. of. Yeah. Um, during the audition, though, I thought there was no way I was ever going to get the part of 6-0. Because I feel like normally video games will cast a lower sounding voice for like an operator type person. Or oh, somebody... for the com comms officer that's... Yeah, yeah okay. for like an officer, a commander, whatever, even like the battle chatter stuff, I always hear women with lower voices. Yeah. So I like during the audition, I was trying my best to sound like lower, <laughs> <laughs> and they were like, "No, no, just use your regular voice." And I'm like, "Okay, I'm never gonna get this." <laughs> but then I got it. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of the times, the auditions or the jobs that I book are sometimes for auditions where I'm like, "I'm never gonna get." Oh this. yeah. It's always the ones that you're like, "I don't have a chance." Yeah. But the ones that you feel really good about, they're like, "Oh, I nailed it!" And then I know. Nothing. We go on a lot of auditions. If you book like one in a hundred or something, you're doing pretty well. Actually, I've heard. So when I was in New York, my agent was like, if you book one out of 20 jobs, like you're good. You're really good. Yeah. yeah. And then I moved to LA and they were like, if you book one out of 40 auditions, you're good. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, oh God. Yeah. Yeah. It's a, it's a lot. To... The talent pool is bigger out here. Yeah. I haven't tried to work in New York, so I wouldn't okay. know. Where are you from? from Kansas. Oh, really? Yeah. Nice. When did you move here? Uh, 2004. Oh, okay. So it's been almost 15 years. Oh my gosh. I moved here in 2010. Every January I celebrate my anniversary. My nice. LA anniversary. Nice. Oh, look. Covering there's a right whole <laughs> there's a whole another Simon on me. You guys don't care, right? <laughs> I came out here to go to to go to school, study oh, okay. acting and and then uh, stayed and tried to make a go of it. Eventually found voiceover. And it worked out. Yeah. I'd say it worked out. So, anything else you want to add about Nier? It's been a pretty exciting game to be a part of. Yeah, if you haven't played it, those of you watching, I, I highly recommend it. I know I'm biased, well, but it's yeah. really good. It is a good game. <laughs> Um, and it's and it's a lot of fun and uh, and actually I, I played through the whole thing on my Twitch channel 
Oh, dang. Um, Kira, who, Kira Buckland, who, who is the voice of 2B, joined me for a good chunk of that. Oh, wow. And that's all still there, so if you're not sure if you want to pick up a copy. You can watch Kyle play. You can go play watch a little bit of it. Via the link below. And then you'll be hooked. Yeah. And you'll go buy a copy, I think. Yeah. And Simon agrees. Cool. Well, thanks for watching. This is Kyle McCarley. Subscribe for more videos like this, and I will see you guys next time. Peace. Bye.